Hi everybody and welcome to my card video today. Today's going to be an interesting card because I'm actually winding up with a different version by the end of this video. What I intended to do and what actually happens you'll see as we go through. So right now we're using the MFT's Sunray stencil and I'm taking the Distress ink in the marker form and I'm putting it on a palette. It's just a piece of paper that I laminated and I'm using it to color the embossing paste and this is just the white embossing paste by Wendy Vecchi I believe. I hope I said it right. And right now I'm just spreading it on lightly because what I'm trying to do is to give it some dimension. So I wanted it to have a lighter color and then the darker orange kind of like mixed in together. Okay. And it's very important with the embossing paste when you're done using it, go ahead and close it up because you don't want it to dry out. And you can see here, I'm just mixing it on, on the side and then I'm spreading it on just like you would icing on a cake. Now what I did find with this stencil is it's super thin and I wound up I think working it too much um, to the point where some of the rays, the embossing paste kind of went through so it had a little bit like a smudge when you lifted up the stencil and you can see it here so after I was done with this and I cleaned off my stencil and everything I realized it wasn't what I wanted so <laughs> I cut down another piece of paper and decided to go with the actual distress ink pads and put it on that way which allowed me to get the darker with the lighter color look that I was going for so right now I'm just, you know, laying down the color and then I'm going to lift up the stencil. Now the best part is when you use the inks with the stencil, you don't have to rush to clean it off right away. So, you know, I could peel everything off and look at it and make sure that's exactly what I wanted, which it was. And now I'm taking a stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to stamp a face, like a smiley face in the center of the sun. And I just use the VersaFine ink. I find that VersaFine works really well with clear stamps. It gives you a, a nice even coverage so when you stamp it down you get a really nice black image. So for the greeting what I'm going to do is from that set I pulled out the you fill my day with and the word sunshine. And at first, what I'm trying to do is actually line it up on my grid sheet, my grid paper, um, so that way I could do the stamping all at one time. And then what I find is that, for whatever reason, the way they've signed the sunshine, it, it doesn't work that way. So I wind up having to separate them and do each stamp separately so that way I can make sure the sunshine was in the right spot from you know you fill my day with so after I stamp it and I got it the way I, I like it I'm taking the white embossing powder and sprinkling it on and then once I get that on and make sure there's no um, residual dust anywhere or powder anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the container that I use and then heat it up real quick. And of course, whenever you use the embossing tool, just you want to make sure that you let it heat up a little bit before you actually put it on your actual paperwork because you don't want to burn the embossing powder. All right. And then once I'm done heating it up, I'm actually going to trim this down because I decided, you know, I wanted to see more of the sunshine, the rays from um, the stencil that we did. So I'm cutting this down and I'm going to create basically like a banner like we did last week. I've been on a banner kick. I don't know why, but lately I've noticed that I, I like the way that looks on my cards. And you'll find, you'll go through phases, you know, sometimes it's sequins, everything's got to have sequins on it. Right now, for me, it's banners. So, <laughs> we're just going to place this on here, right up above the sun. And I couldn't decide with the card if I was going to back it with black. I wasn't sure exactly, you know, what I was going to do if I was just going to put it on the card, which you could. Um, but I, I really like the way... 
it looks when you mount it on a piece of paper and it gives you that you know color edge in between I just think it really finishes off the card so I'm just taping that down with the snail adhesive all right and of course I gotta put on something sparkly so what I did is I took the wink of Stella black glitter pen and I'm filling in the smiley face and then I'm going to take the clear glitter pen and do the orange um, around it. So that way that whole circle has sparkle to it. And I'm going to pull it up here close to the screen. I'm trying to show you all the sparkle. It's very subtle, but it's just enough. Alright, so with the original piece we did, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but who knows, keep an eye out. It might pop up on another card down the road. So make sure you guys subscribe, uh, click the link down below to follow me on Facebook and uh, Pinterest, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Have a great day.